tries to come at me again we're gonna have to get past this they're gonna have to get past this if they try to hit me again best believe that best believe that You've been baptized nine times. Yeah. Why did they like why? Why? Why did? Why did you need nine times to get baptized? I feel like I didn't do it right. Like every time I do it, it's just like. Sir, you did you? Did you? Did you actually repent from your sin? I didn't. I just feel like it's gay is the way. Like I can't help it. <laughs> well, actually, see, when you, th it's not a work you do. It's a work that the Holy Spirit does in you. So is it you, like you, you can't, you can't stop sinning yourself. You need the Holy Spirit in you to push the sin out of you. Does like the Holy Spirit not like me or something? Cause like you, you, you're stuck in your pride. You have to humble yourself in the sight of God. You have to go before Him with a broken heart and a contrite spirit and say, Lord, Father, God, please save a wretch like me, Lord. I can't do this on my own. Only You can do this. That's how we have to go before Him. We have to go before Him in humility and humbleness, not pride. And see, I feel Lord, bad every time, like every time. And see, yeah. that's your conscience convicting you. That's your conscience. Convicted. You even coming up to us right now, talking to us, shows that you have a desire to change, and God is working on your heart. But coming to an event like this, homosexual enablers—they're not—they're not gonna—they're not gonna—they're not gonna encourage you to change. You have to be around people who are actually gonna encourage you and hold you accountable. Okay. You know what I mean? Even so, yeah. All right, come here. You know, like like me for instance, like I mean, I was I was horrible, bro. I mean, I'm, let me tell you, I, I was a drug dealer, drug user, fornicator, a lust luster, pornography, you know, into pornography, all of that, and and no matter what I did, I, I kept doing it. But the reason is because I wasn't submitting and surrendering unto God. I was being disobedient to God. You know, I I wanted I had one foot in the church. Oh, thank you. I, I had one foot in the church and one, one, one foot in the world. You know, I, I wanted to be, I wanted to be, you know, a player on one hand and, and, and a pastor on the other hand, you know, and you can't do that. And, 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 you know, the word of God says, Jesus Christ said, you know, we can't serve two masters because you either love one and you'll hate the other. So, you know, you can't serve God and mammon. We can't serve can't, God can't and our sin. You can't the devil but live in his presence. You right, can't right. do that. You can't, you can't call yourself a Christian but live in sin. I mean... I, I was a sinner. I mean, I came to I came to truly know Christ about two months ago. Two months ago, I was I was preaching before I was saved. That that that's what I realized. I was being a hypocrite. I was being a hypocrite. I was not living a life pleasing to God. I I worshipped football. I was putting football ahead of God. And so I quit football. I left my school, and I just I threw it all away for Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ Himself says to deny yourself so wait you, you quit school no I, i'm homeschooled now because i don't want to be oh, around okay. the same amen 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 how old do you think he is uh, i want to say like 18 yeah. i'm 15. really 15. i thought he was 21. <laughs> no but um i know right he carries himself well for a young man he, he says to deny yourself what denying yourself means is to throw your old self away repent of your sins and trust the man of Jesus Christ with all your heart, strength, mind, and soul. That is what throwing yourself away is. Throwing away all that you love in this life and giving it up to Jesus. But then, after that, he says something that's pretty hard to swallow. He says, take up your cross and follow me. That means, if you are truly a Christian, you are willing to follow Christ to the death. A cross. Because I was an atheist for a long time, but then I watched The Passion of Christ and it really made me cry because that mm. was just like. It yeah, really it that, was, that brought it me to tears too. Same here.
and, 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 and the thing is, though, with one thing they don't show in that movie is it shows it, it ends with Christ on the cross. But the glory is, he, he, he died and was buried and was resurrected, so we actually serve a risen Savior. And that's the power of, of the crucifixion and the resurrection of Christ, as he nailed all those old sins to the cross. And then when, when he, when he uh, was buried for three days, he took all those sins to hell. And when he went to hell, he wasn't tortured in hell. When Christ went to hell, because he has power over hell, he set all the captives free. Wait, they said free. he was tortured in hell? He wasn't, no. Some people yeah, say that, he that's was. That's what many people say. He, he did not actually go to the lake of fire. He was in a place called Hades. And he set all the captives is free. That is a holding chamber before hell. That is a holding chamber for those who were unrighteous and oh thank you. That that is a holding chamber for the unrighteous who died before before Christ set them free. Before they were truly no longer slaves of their sin. That is what Hades is. And then you face the day of judgment and that is when you go to hell. But Hades is a place of extreme discomfort too. People in Hades beg for a drop of water, but right, they don't right. they won't find one. It says it in his word. And who is he that? Um, Talking about in um, uh, Lazarus and the Rich Man, is that one? or? I, I honestly can't remember, I have to find it. I think it was like Lazarus and the Rich Man. But um, I live. But you, the, the 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 power the power of, of the resurrection is with, with the power of the resurrection is he conquered death he conquered sin so that way as a new creature in Christ we no longer have to live a sinful lifestyle that that's the power you know that's the power of the resurrection you know that resurrection power that's the that's the true nature of Jesus Christ like I was sharing a testimony earlier with my brother uh, my my brother got the holy so like we don't like attacking well yeah it was for reasons like when he got shoved down right yeah, for reasons like, like that, that right. I'm like the camera like you don't like you wear it so people don't like attack you no we wear it up here so that way like when, when we get crowds like when like, I surround my brother right now like we don't have the video like on, on a woman's chest or or whatever you know what I mean oh because there's a lot of indecency out in places like this so you don't want to um, look at this video on YouTube oh, and all you see is yeah, like, no you're, you're fine you're fine I mean, you're fine if you, if you don't want to be filmed I'm, no yeah. I'm totally cool with it like but, so you guys believe like women shouldn't show their chest no definitely no, not they, but or, like, or their thighs. It's bib it's, biblically, it's considered nakedness, but like, according to God's why, standards. Like, scientifically, the only reason why you have nipples because you were almost a female. I don't believe that actually. No, but, like the reason, reason why, why you have is because God had created us like that. We but like the reason why you have God's nipples is because like when you're in the womb, like you're like almost a female, and then like you, you're a wife. Well, or well, your your DNA is actually decided before you uh, before. Um, right, like when, right, I, I believe it's like right when conception hits is when your DNA is decided. Um, I'm actually learning all this right now. My my wife is pregnant, so like I've been learning like all about the oh, intricate really? details. Yeah, all the intricate details about this, and like, I mean, it proves it proves not, not to get sidetracked, but it even proves through things like that why abortion is completely wrong because they say well it's not a life yet but well, yeah, I, I don't believe in abortion at all. And, and scripture to prove that is when um when mary got conceived with jesus she went to uh to greet her uh, cousin elizabeth which was john the baptist's mother and john the baptist he was he, he was six months along in his mom's womb six months along and he leaped for joy when mary came because obviously the baby inside of elizabeth knew the baby inside of mary was our savior but it's like as a man why do you feel like you have an opinion on abortion um well it's well, it's do you it's, have to be black to be against slavery you, why, i mean why it's just like a woman to be against abortion? Good, because you don't have a womb you don't conceive life so it's like why do you have an opinion on like what that, goes that, on that's also the same as saying i have to be a black to be against slavery not really because it's like i mean in my opinion i'm so against like i'm against abortion i don't feel like you should kill a baby like if you're a hoe and you have a baby like that's your well, problem but like i don't feel like as a human being like that's the, the woman says decision. to rescue those being led to slaughter rescue those who are being taken away to their death it also says in ephesians 5 11 to take no part in the unfruitful works of darkness but yet expose them and reprove them what, amen what 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 that means is i i myself i do go out to the abortion mills and i do abortion ministry and I, I love to preach out against all sin. That's what God calls us to do. But I, I do abortion.
abortion ministry, and I hear that argument a lot. It's like, well, you're not a woman, so you can't be against abortion. No, I can be against What's abortion. What's not being like a woman being like against abortion? Because it's like, I mean, everyone has their own opinion. But like, well, let me let me as like a male, it's like, how can you tell biblically a woman what to do with her Bible? Biblically, let me let me let me let me share it to you biblically. In the Word of God, it says, "Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you." So God knows us before He even formed us in the womb. So it's not telling a woman what to do with her body because does that baby inside of her have a choice? That that this baby. It's a woman's right issue, but what about the right of the little girl inside the womb? Right. Or they say it's a reproductive rights issue. It's not a reproductive rights issue because reproduction has already taken place. So that makes it a sin issue. Yeah, I literally I do not agree with abortion at all. But I just feel like. As a man, I can't be like, oh, Even you in the should case get an of abortion. Rape? I mean, that's that's what's so tricky about it. I feel like I can't have. Well, you know. but doesn't the man have a right to decide? Because the man's the one that actually produces the semen to implant inside of the woman. So well, the man you, should but have a most choice. Most of the time, when it's when a, someone gets pregnant, like accidentally, it's most of the man's fault. Well, I that's mean, that's 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 that's, fault, that's actually it takes two to tango. Now, yeah, that's what it's, so it's, it's, not it's just both the their fault. fault. It's both of their faults. But it's just like. I mean, I do understand, like, I I don't agree with it, but right. it's like, as a man, I can't be like, you need to get an abortion because I don't want the baby, because it's just like, what the fuck, like, you're not the one, can, like, creating the baby inside of you, like. But, but I didn't mean to get sidetracked on that, but I mean, the, the, the as we're sharing in regards to Christ, so the resurrection, that's where the power is, because through the resurrection, you know, Christ defeated death. It was prophesied. All this is coming. You know, his dying on the cross, his the resurrection. But it it's all it's all over. But like, wait, in the Old Testament, they said they can like stone people for well, a lot of stuff. That was again. That was again the, the was old the covenant. Law. That was the old covenant for the children of Israel. You know, that Jesus wasn't the covenant Christ for Gentiles. That right. But like, where did Christianity come from? Because Jesus Christianity came from Jew. Christ. He came from Christ. Wasn't Jesus a Jew though? Jesus Christ was. Jesus Christ surpasses all that. Whether he was a Jew, whether he was Greek, that 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 in itself doesn't really matter as much as the fact of what he came for. But like a Greek would be really bad because that's polyamorous, right? No. I mean not poly like it's multiple gods. It doesn't well, like, it doesn't really matter where he came from because he lived a perfect life for 33 years. Catholics believe in this thing called the Immaculate Conception. It means that they believe in Mary living a life free from sin and then they used Mary as a vessel for Jesus Christ that's what Catholics believe in and that's what they're trying to tell you but they completely skipped the part in Romans 3 23 where it says for all now the cops sin, come of course they think that Mary was used as a vessel but if Mary was Greek it wouldn't matter because Jesus Christ lived a perfect life for 33 years he never sinned once so by them saying that Mary is a vessel but like other than the Bible, like where is like the this, this source? What, what do you mean the source? Like you know, like when you like ask some, like ask someone something, like you look at like all the sources to make sure like they're not lying. Like other than the Bible, like where is the source? Well, the sources of the Bible, all all, all the gospel writers, um, the the uh, epistles of Paul, you know James, Peter, all that. They were all like, aside from Paul, Paul only seen Jesus Christ, um, like basically like. He came to him basically like in a vision, more or less. But all the gospel writers, they were actually on the earth walking with Jesus. But like, if that was the truth, like, wouldn't they have like slaves and stuff because they were like in that time? I mean, they probably they didn't have slaves. No, they didn't have slaves. Okay, so they like weren't racist. He, no, the, so no, like, of course why not. Why did they have Slavery so many rules against like women? Like, like making it seem like women that that, like, that was the old covenant. That was that was in in the early foundations of everything. But like if and that's, like if the people who were speaking to God wrote that, I mean wrote like wrote that Bible, why did God like tell them like that was okay? That was back then. Again, that was the old covenant. That that was for the, the children of Israel. That's because that's because they wanted to be in bondage. They were worshiping false gods. They they chose to be in bondage. So God's like, you want to be in bondage? I'm gonna let you be in bondage. Sin was in the world. Sin came in the world through Adam but and Eve. The so old, the Old Testament and the New Testament is like not. I mean, it's different, but it's not that different. So like, it's like it, it's not. It's not well, the difference then. between the people in the Old Testament and the people in the New Testament is the people in the Old Testament believed in the coming of Christ. The people in the New Testament believe that Christ came, died, and rose again. That, that's what they believe. That is the main difference between the Old and New Testament. Yeah. I know it's a lot to take in, but, but the, the main thing, I know you have a lot of questions, 
and and the, and the main thing is just start you know starting with the basics of learning about who Jesus is you know I mean we can learn about you know the Old Testament I mean the main things we have to understand is is why why we need a Savior which is because of our sin of our sin problem and who that Savior was being Jesus Christ and, and how we can overcome sin through him Th those are the main things for any new believer to, to really focus on and then as as a, as a believer you know goes on in, in their faith and studying out the word then the, then over time they'll begin to understand why this took place why that took place why this was going on why that was going on and it, and it really makes sense but see again that was the whole point of jesus coming see, jesus, that's why i strayed away from the bible because it didn't like make that it didn't make sense to me. well that's and, why you have to seek christ and you have to study his word for it to make sense and it, i mean it, i was in it for like at least like 15 years but then it just didn't like it didn't make sense to me. And, and, and that's where and that's where having like elders in christ like a like a like an older man of god to like really educate you and sit down and and show you the word like like in the bible we see that you know um paul he did that with young timothy you know timothy paul might have been i don't know maybe maybe paul was like and i'm just throwing out a number maybe he was like in his 50s or something and timothy might have been in his 20s and, and he was ministering on to him how to how to become a pastor you know and, and how to how to really you know uh, shepherd the sheep you know the that being like the the kind congregation for instance you know so that's where having an older man of God you know really comes into play for that you know it's like a they call it like a spiritual father you know like like Paul was Timothy's spiritual father so he really he really guided him along in the word you know like early early on in my faith you know when I was in prison and I got saved um, I had a spiritual father you know a, a older brother in Christ you know who was like 20 years you know my senior you know where we would just sit down every day and we would just go over the word I mean we might end up lose track of time and study for like five hours straight because we wanted to know God you know we wanted to know and, and we, we we learn about him through his word and, and and it's just it's just good having a proper grasp and understanding and again that's where like you know, having having a man a guy like in your in, in your life comes into play, you know. And I tried that, but it's like when I was like when I was like around like fifteen or yeah. like sixteen, like my pastor like molested me multiple times. Are you serious? So it was like it kinda like straightened me away. I, I was just like if you're supposed to be teaching me like what's going on and right, you're doing right. this, like now, now let me ask you a question. So I mean, I don't know. I don't want to assume. Are you a homosexual? Yeah. Um, were you one before he did that? Yeah, that's that was a problem because he thought like just because I was gay, he thought that that was okay. Like, I'm sorry that happened. I really am. And um, you know, I, I pray that guy repented. I don't know if he's even saved. I mean, he's probably like a like a false pipe. Like there's a lot of them. Like, there's a lot of them. And and, and that's and, why I, like, I hate going to church because it's just like I would rather read the Bible and right, like right. get the word for myself than actually like go to a church and have someone like well, yeah, preach it to me. That's like, what I'm here to tell you. Is it's a hard thing for many people to swallow when I tell them, but do not believe anything that I just said. I want you to go search it amen. and compare amen. what I just said to scripture. Do not believe what I said until you see it in the Bible. Amen. Okay, it's a hard mm -hmm. thing for many people to swallow because well, like other than the Bible, like what's the stories like of that? Well, like I'm like I'm really into science, like I'm a psychology major, so like I'm really into science. We have to look, like look at multiple like sources. So like when people like preach God to me, I'm just like when they tell me like the stories, I'm like what's like the other sources of like the Bible? Because it's just like when they do that, it's like I can literally go like to the Hunger Games and be like, oh yeah, this is like the source. It's just like what other source than that can like be like proven well something. that's why these books are in the bible because the holy spirit speaks to men and women through, but like through others in the bible like what else like what else is there there are no other holy books other than the bible that you can read you, you need to pray about that you need to ask god and seek wisdom well and and, and that's and that's where through studying you can actually you can actually study the history of the bible and see how it came up throughout all the years and that and that throughout all the years of it being compiled together, all the scriptures being documented and, and translated. But they were all like written by men. Well, they were written by men inspired by God. All scripture was given by inspiration of God. But how which, do you know that? Because it's just like, they can say like, oh, I was inspired by God. Like, I'm pretty sure if J.K. Rowling was like, I was inspired by God. Well, well let, me, like, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Um, J.K. Rowling books. Was anybody murdered to try to keep J.K. Rowling books from being in your hand? 
Was anybody murdered to try to keep um, C.S. Lewis books from being in your Probably hand? Probably like the people who liked the books because it was a it was a witch call. It was a witchcraft. Book. And it is witchcraft, like, you're right. Um, but 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 there's multiple. But but, but witch, witch, witchcraft is prevalent in this world. This this event itself is witchcraft. Yeah. But but actually, um, the, the Bible itself and 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 the, and the specific translation, the King James Bible, and the line of manuscripts that came from that that Christians were being murdered and murdered and murdered in attempts to try to keep the Bible out of our hands there was actually an attempt right right after right after king james um he, he, he decreed that they were gonna they were gonna um uh, uh retranslate the bible and the king james in the english language um there was a, a, a the catholic church basically instituted a, what's called the gunpowder plot you can research this and find this out easy well, that's Guy Fawkes. Because, like christianity came from catholic actually it didn't it didn't actually christianity started before catholicism really it did catholicism, I thought, um, catholicism that, that started 300 guy. years after christianity so why did that Constantine? In, 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 like in school, they teach the wrong stuff. Exactly. Like they told they us do. that it was like this guy who didn't like the, like the Catholic thing, and he like I guess found Jesus and like came up with his own thing. Like came, with, I don't remember his name. Like like like, like, like uh, you're probably talking about maybe Constantine. I don't think it was him. It was someone that like he was just like, and he used to like like put messages up on the church door, like talking. I don't know. It was. Well, well, Christianity actually started. Um, it actually started basically when when Christ resurrected. When he resurrected, that's when Christianity so like basically you, started. Like zero thousand, not zero thousand, but like zero. But like basically like year thirty, we'll say. Okay. Essentially, I mean the thing with Christ, though, is he always was and he always will be. But he came in the form of a man during those thirty-three years. Because the price of blood had to pay for right. the sins of man. There has to be bloodshed for just as the two. To be forgiven for your sins in the Old Testament, you had to slaughter a lamb or a clean animal. If God knows the tracks of your heart, why do you have to? to but why would God want to kill one that, of his creatures? That was the Old Covenant. I mean, God, 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 God put the animals here for us, not necessarily, um, you know, he but didn't. don't they have their own, their own consciousness too? Like, it's just like. Uh, I mean, I'm not a God vegetarian, but like, a lot of vegetarians, like, when I like talk to vegetarians, creatures. I'm just like. It's just like God actually gave us dominion over all the animals. That's why but he we're actually we're not better than anyone. So we're like, better than animals. Should, we are. But that's that it's we are. Life that God created. So why it's life that God created for us. So that's why God created the animals then man because he had to set. God had to put everything in place before man could be put here. He put the the, the sun and the moon here, the stars here, the the earth here. You know, the water here, the grass, the trees. So do you guys believe like the entire like this entire population was created off of two people? Yes, I do. Like I, believe, I believe I believe I I believe in the creationism. Is it incest like against the Bible? It's not it wasn't in, it wasn't considered incest back then because it was there was it they was no to. sin. I mean but incest is incest. No, but like with Adam and Eve, the sisters and brothers or the the sons and daughters that they produced, how are you going to populate the earth if you don't exactly marry your like, sister? You, well that's but it's against that the Bible. Wasn't, that wasn't against the old covenant. That wasn't perversion back then because Well back of, then you can rape someone's daughter and pay them like get over it and, and again that was the old covenant that's why god sent christ in the world since there's all that all that type of system is, is done with you know my pastor actually he found all the laws of the old covenant and he brought them to church there are about 630 laws of the old covenant and it took up 25 pages and it was about a stack that big that it is impossible for man to follow all of the laws at the same time that is why jesus christ came in to fulfill the old law he said just give give me all of you and you will be set free of your sin repent of your sins deny yourself take up your cross and follow me so why did god like send himself down here to like because there had to be a bloodshed price that but it's god like if he wanted to stop it he could have just stopped it God can, God can do whatever he wants. I mean, so he just wanted to see bloodshed? No, there, there has to be a bloodshed to be forgiven from your sins. But why would God want to kill any of his creatures just to prove a point? It's, it's not proving a point, it's forgiveness. But if he forgives you, he forgives you, you don't have to kill someone that like... No, it's not killing a person, it's killing an animal. God gave us dominion. But Jesus was not an animal. On the earth. I know. It, it, it talks about in his Bible, it pleased him to crush Jesus. It pleased him to crush his own son. Because that is what set 
that is what set the, uh, the sinner free. That is what sets everybody free. But the, the thing is, you have to truly repent of your sins. That, that's, that's the one thing Where that did you say that? Let me let me. I'll pull it up if you, unless you know where it's at. I'll pull I, it I up. can't remember. I, My head hurts now. Oh my yeah, it's a big book. I wouldn't like to fight you. Yeah. I'm and, and 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 let me just preface everything. Like, I know you have a lot of questions, and I'm gonna be honest. I don't have the, all the answers. I'm not like the best at explaining everything. I'm really not. Um, but I, I try my best, so I just wanted to kind of... So you got to doing a good time. Yeah, I, just want, I wanted to preface that because I know you have a, a lot of questions, and sincere and honest questions at that, so, you know, we appreciate you're not doing it out of mockery and, and all that. That's what many people here do. They love to come and they just mock, 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 and they don't want to hear the word of God. No, like, I, I was a Christian for, like, 15 years until that whole debacle happened, and I was an atheist. I was just like, why would God let that happen? And I don't think that you can lose your salvation. Once, once your name is in the Lamb's book of life, God's not gonna like erase your name out of it. Well, and, and it's well, quite and it's quite was, possible. Like, I was only a Christian because my parents were like, my mom, like she asked me, she said, "Are you a Christian because like you grew up a Christian or because you're actually a Christian?" And like when she asked me that, I like I really like literally like I I realized that like I'm only a Christian because that's like how I grew up because I started to, like studying like world religions and I'm just like. All these like like they they mean like good but like at the end of the day I feel like when religion was created it was just created as a tool to like control the masses because like if you install a moral code inside of people or just like hey you have to do good or you're going to hell everyone's gonna act good because no one wants to go to hell well where does moral where, where do you have morals if you don't have a religion where are your morals? well I have morals and I don't have a religion well, you, those morals come from the Bible. They come from the Ten Commandments. You believe killing's wrong. You believe homosexuality is wrong too, right? Or do well, you? I mean, not really. You don't believe homosexuality is wrong. You're gonna have to swallow it, but that is a sin in the eyes of God. Isaiah 53:10. Isaiah 15. In the same, like in the same preface, it's just like, I mean, yeah, like would you rather tell me it sounds like really good, but like it's all coming from one book, and like. When people like explain things to me, I'm I'm really like scientific about things. So like when things come like to me, it has to be literally like explained like from multiple sources. Because like when you guys are saying like the Bible, it's like someone can literally like a quote Twilight to me, and it's just like the same thing. It's just like it's one book. Like, well, it and, and here and here's the thing that that's that's where a lot of it is also based upon faith. I mean, there is the there is the historical facts and accounts of the Bible. And what it took throughout all the years to get to you us. 5910? 5310. 53. And so so a, a lot of it is based on faith. And that's where that's where sharing like personal testimonies of, of, of how God has changed your life. That's where a lot of that really comes into play. You know, like for me in my life, you know, as I was sharing earlier, you know, everything I was in into um I was um when I, you know, I, I kind of grew up in the church a little bit, like in and out of the church. But then once I got into high school, you know, and started working and, 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 and smoking cigarettes and doing drugs and partying, like all that went away. Especially when I started like listening to like wicked, wicked music. Like, what like, was like wicked music? To like you? gangster rap music. I mean, I'm talking like Three Six Mafia. That's, that's what I was into, and that's when I realized my. You got like not listen like Pink Floyd. I, like, listen to none of that. I wasn't listening. Not I was, anymore. I was listening to people. Oh, you like, don't listen to it anymore? No, I burned like all my old music, all of it. Oh, wow, Pink yeah. Floyd is like my jam. Yeah, I because because the like Pink Floyd, they're um very very occultic in their in their music and the things they say. Like, and I realized like like about Beyonce, like if you listen to her songs backwards, oh, it's yeah, just yeah. like saying like shit like Hell Satan and oh, things yeah, oh, like yeah. that. But oh, it's yeah. just like I feel like Beyonce's definitely when you listen occultist. to things. Yeah, no, I I'm so into the Illuminati. It's like ridiculous, but it's like I feel like when I listen to things like that, it's like it's not like I'm taking the message that they're giving me. I'm like. Cause I'm a, I used to be, I, when I was a performing arts high school, I was a music major. So like, when I listen to music, I perceive my own, like that's why music is just like, it's so like, it's really abstract because you can take your own message from it. Like, but if, if it's immoral music, then that, that's that's why I quit listening to music. I was just listening to Teddy Bob. I was listening to like, just tins. I was just listening to horrible music. But it's just like, you taking off? God bless you. Like, like Lady Gaga, like, it's 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 like, my head hurts. And it's like, it's oh, like, uh, 548. It's like, promoting, like, the death, okay, I'm gonna have to go. And it is just um, like, can, it really liberated me because I felt like all my life, I was always bullied. My head hurts after I got shoved to the ground. That whole album, like, so I'm 
I push you. I got pushed really hard. My camera broke, kind of. This fell off my head. I hit my head on the ground hard. And then somebody else hit me or shoved me after that, so I don't even know. I'm kind of kind of dazed a little bit. I mean, it was on camera when it happened. <laughs> What? He probably got it in this. This guy's really receptive for the most part. This guy right here, he's really receptive. We've just been missing him. I had to get away. I mean, I didn't want to leave you over there by yourself, but. That's all right. It went crazy. I was running. I didn't know where y'all went. I was over there by myself. Uh, yeah, after I got shoved, because I was like, you know what? I got this out, because if anyone comes at me now, I'm not going to hit them, but I'm going to fend them off. Yeah. I just, I just, when they come close to me, sometimes I'll, I'll hold my hand out, just yeah. like, kind of, because they can't, because the cops run, they won't push me. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, now the cops are here. <laughs> but um, when those people with the signs come, I was just moving their signs up. And, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if that man who did that to you is really a Christian or not, and I'm sorry that happened. But I just want you to understand and know he doesn't represent what Christianity is. He really doesn't. If that man was a man of God, he would have never did that to you. And I'm sorry he did that to you. I really am. Yeah. I really am, brother. I know. I I, I love you as a brother, man. Don't come here. God bless you, man. Thank you for taking yeah. the time to actually and talk. We don't with normally us. give everyone hugs, but because you're listening, you're respectful. Yeah. All right. God bless you, all right? We're about to leave, and um, you can look us up on YouTube, too, okay? I'll give you, uh... Jeremiah Barker is my name. Can you remember that? Jeremiah Barker. Yeah, B-A-R-K-E-R -E is my last name. You have, either one, do you have a pen on you? Huh? I, don't, I don't have a pen. I was wondering, can I get your number? Know. Oh, I don't my phone, so I don't even know my number. Yeah, right. you can contact us, you know, and give you our email address, and keep in touch with us or something. Okay. Just look up Jeremiah Barker and... Yeah, I got a pen right here. I got a pen. Okay, yeah. I got a pen right here. Write it in the Bible or whatever. Put our names on there or whatever. Because you'll see, we don't just preach at events like this either. You know, a lot of times people say, why are you here? But we preach to all kinds of events, even Pharisees, you know, church people that aren't living right. You know, so it's not, it's nothing just personal against homosexuality. B-A-R-K-E-R, yeah. Yep. I'm gonna give you my number too if you uh, if you want to you know have some conversing over the word and and prayer and fellowship I, I'm more than happy. Do you guys to like do have it. a church like in Atlanta? I I don't have a church home yet. He's actually from Alabama. Yeah. Um, I, I'm He's looking for a Georgia. church myself. Uh, he they have a church in um East Street City, but um get in contact with me and we can find a church. I'm I was just been waiting for my wife to kind of get over some of like the uh, uh 
the early stages of pregnancy so she could feel comfortable mm -hmm. to go to find a church with us. So we're actually in the process of, of looking for one. How far along is she? Um, she just entered her second trimester. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. So if, 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 if you know, if you get in contact with me, maybe we can even come pick you up and, and go to church or whatever, you know. I mean, that's not a problem, man. I mean, that's not a problem. I'm going to give you my number, though. We don't affiliate ourselves with any, like, of the really hateful groups, you know, that represent Christianity or anything. Yeah, I know. The Jernsboro Baptist Church, they came to our yeah. school the other day. And was Westboro like, Baptist? Was, yeah, Westboro. I, they I came to your school? Yeah. In Atlanta? Huh, what school was that? Georgia, uh, Georgia State. Oh, okay. oh, that was uh, that wasn't okay. Westboro, but he's oh, talking that, about yeah, he's talking about Israel. Westboro, but they're kind of like the same thing. We we, we probably know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, they were really hateful. They were yeah. talking about Islam, like how that's just like the worst religion ever, and it's like yeah. Now I, I share about Islam some, like when people say you know that shooting happened, you know that homosexual bar or whatever. That was a Muslim. It wasn't a Christian. Yeah. You know, so people always try to put the Christian in that category. Right. You know, and, you know, and if a Christian does that, then they're not probably a real Christian anyways. Um, that I wrote it twice because that was kind of not legible. Mm -hmm. But it's 414. It's a Wisconsin number. So, so it's not, you know. I like to go there all the time because okay. I'm from Minnesota. So oh, okay, like okay. Like what parts? The best they do. What parts? <laughs> uh, just the part where uh, Wisconsin Dales is. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to go there as a child. Um, but yeah, so yeah, free, feel free to contact, man. We'll, we'll rap about the Bible, you know, and... and and, and to the best of my ability, you know, I, I could help you along. Even my wife, I mean, she's she went to Bible college. I mean, she's I, 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 she kind of puts me to shame sometimes. To be honest with you, man, I mean, she's she's very knowledgeable of the words. So I mean, we love to to converse with you and you know and go to church and all that. You know. Yeah. Uh, what's your name again? Leroy. Leroy. Pleasure meeting you, brother. God bless you, man. I pray. I just pray that this really ministered to you and. We can fellowship, man. Definitely. No, no problem. Definitely. Yeah, Thank you. Enjoy you. the rest of your weekend, man. Thank you. All right. That, that made it all worth it. That made it all worth it. Yeah, I had some good conversations over there for a little bit. Um, 